ever since the start of the pandemic, both you and I have been wearing masks and masks have been absolutely essential to keeping us safe during this pandemic. However, wearing these masks also comes with certain problems and that's exactly what we're going to discuss today on this episode of the Dental Review Guide. So now that we've been wearing masks for so long, what exactly has it done to our bodies? Well, there is a condition which is now popularly known as mask mouth. And what exactly is that? Well, the first thing people complain about is dryness of their mouth. This dryness is very troubling to them because it's an uncomfortable feeling to have your mouth dry all the time. There's also a complaint of bad breath, cavities, gum disease, and also there can be dermatological issues such as acne or skin irritation, which happens because of prolonged contact with the mask. Let's talk about exactly why these happen. These effects come about mainly because of dryness. Behind the mask, there is a tendency to keep your mouth open as you're trying to let in more air because it may be unnatural for you to keep wearing a mask all the time. Healthcare professionals are probably a little bit more used to wearing masks all the time, but we are now wearing two masks because we usually wear an N95 inside and a triple layer mask on the outside. So all of that is making us mouth breathe. And when you mouth breathe, there is a tendency for less saliva production and dehydration of the mouth itself. Now this causes issues and this causes real issues because the dry mouth is a great playground for bacteria. And because of that, these patients are reporting with a lot of issues with cavities. The dry mouth and cavities go hand in hand. So that is a big problem which we are facing. Another issue is the bad breath. Because there's not enough saliva flow in the mouth, because the mouth is kept open, that the food particles which we've just had, you know, you may have had your lunch, and those food particles remain in the mouth because the saliva doesn't wash away those food particles effectively. And this, and the mask itself, it's trapping the bad breath which comes as a result of those food particles. And now that food can be coating your cheek, it could be coating the tongue, could be in between the teeth. Uh, this, this is the reason why you're getting bad breath, also known as halitosis. There's another challenge with the mask. Because you're wearing a mask all day long, you are bound to be drinking less water than usual. Because you may think, oh, it's so inconvenient to take off my mask and go drink water, so you may skip it altogether. And doing that is going to cause issues because now you already have a dry mouth because of mouth breathing. And now you're drinking less water, so there's even less chance for you to get the mouth out of this dry state. So the lack of water intake because of wearing masks is a problem. And now there's one big issue which we dentists are seeing, which is gum disease and there's bleeding gums. And the reason for that is when your mouth is trapped behind the mask, there is a change in the bacterial flora. It becomes a little more acidic as you're trapping more carbon dioxide, which isn't bad for you in the sense of breathing it in, but it is bad for you in the sense that that trapped carbon dioxide tends to make the mouth more acidic and that acidic environment changes the bacteria in your mouth and that causes bleeding and gum irritation also known as gingivitis which later becomes periodontitis. So now that we've listed out the problems with mask mouth, how exactly do we deal with it, right? We know that we can't discard the mask just yet. We need it to protect ourselves. So step number one, increase your water intake. Make sure you're getting sufficient quantities of water usually this is about three liters a day and make sure that you're taking regular breaks to put your mask down drink the water in a safe environment and put your mask back up this will moisturize your mouth and remove that immediate feeling of dryness with that the bad breath also should reduce considerably behind your mask the second thing you can do behind your mask make sure that you are not keeping your mouth open make a conscious effort to keep your mouth closed and breathe through your nose. Avoid trying to breathe from your chest and your mouth. You should instead be breathing from your diaphragm from inside with long deep breaths rather than shallow breaths. Make sure you're brushing your teeth twice a day with a fluoridated toothpaste and if you have a doubt as to what toothpaste to use, consult your dentist and find out what's going to work best for you. If you're having an issue with bleeding gums, then this is a problem which you do need to go and meet your dentist and I'm sure your dentist is taking all precautions to keep you safe during the pandemic. But this is something that does require urgent attention. 
because this can worsen and you can eventually lead to shaking of teeth themselves. If you're having dermatological issues, consult your dermatologist. You may be getting acne or skin irritation. Find out what you can do to reduce the challenges which you're facing with skin problems. If you like, you can even use a non-alcohol based mouthwash which doesn't dry your mouth and you can use that a couple of times a day so that your mouth is clean and you always feel fresh and you don't have challenges with bad breath. Remember, you need to change your mask. You need to change your mask or at least wash your mask every day. Don't reuse the same mask over and over again because even your mask will be collecting a lot of bacteria which is going to give you problems. So please watch out for that. Another thing that's not often spoken about is having a balanced diet. For healthy gums especially, we really need to make sure that we're getting a balanced diet with all of the nutritional requirements. And if you're not able to get that balanced diet, consider talking to your dietitian or your physician and making sure that you're getting the right supplements so that in effect you're getting whatever your body needs to stay healthy, especially your gums. And last but not least, to prevent dehydration of your mouth, also consider reducing the amount of coffee and reducing the amount of alcohol intake so that you don't have a dry mouth because of these two things. So till the next time we meet, this is the Dental Review Guy signing off with a smile. Stay safe.